Hey guys, and on today's video, we're going to be updating your Mac. So let's get started. On the top left hand side of your screen, you're going to see the Apple logo. Second option will say System Settings. Before we used to do all our updates under the App Store, but now System Settings. So let's just go right into there. Once you do so, you should see an update right here. So update available. However, if you don't see that, don't worry about it. Go into search on the top left hand side and type in update. From here, you're going to see software update. Just tap there and you're going to see the latest update. If nothing's popping up, just turn on and off automatic updates. That should refresh things and you should see the latest update. So let's just open this up for more information. And you're going to see this and just tap on update now. Agree. Put in your passcode. Once you put in your passcode, it's going to start downloading the update. At this point in time, just leave your Mac to be. It's going to turn off. You're going to see Apple logo loading bar and you're going to be done with the update. Now, usually before any updates, I do tell you to make a time machine backup off your Mac just in case. So just make sure you have at least a recent backup if it's not the latest, because during updates, things can happen. Also, make sure you have enough space on your Mac. Sometimes they restart and they don't have enough space. So your Mac gets stuck in a loop, which I do have a video that shows you how to fix that loop. But it's basically deleting some files, but in just in a different way that you would do it normally. Anyways, right now, just leave your Mac to be and you're going to be done with this. It's less than two gigs. So for most of you, this should be really, really fast. All right. So your Mac should have restarted. We would have seen Apple logo loading bar. And then it, once you actually put in your passcode to get back into your Mac, once that restart happened, well, you should have seen something that told you to put in your Apple ID, which is something rare. It doesn't really happen usually with updates, but now with this update, it happened. You have to put in your Apple ID password and you would be done. So we can double check just by going to general software update. And then from here, we should see that we are all up to date. And that would be it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down in your comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.